Today I'm going to try and answer a popular question that you guys keep asking me. What is rooting? Now, the best thing I compare this to is, when you have a stock Android phone, you are the user of that phone. You use the phone and, you know, you modify things, um, basic things, like, you know, your widgets, you can change the way certain things look, and, uh, you know, you can, you can do a lot of stuff with Android since it's already open source. You can install applications that, you know, aren't in the store, um, and you can do a bunch of, you know, rather open source things. But uh, there's, there's a lot of users out there, such as myself, that want to root their phones and get full access to everything. Now, when you, when you root, you get super user permissions. So let's, you know, let's just compare the stock phone to, like, you're just the user of the phone. Um, and now you root, and you're the administrator of the phone. If you guys in the computer language know what I'm talking about. Now, basically, once you root, you get super user permissions, so you can flash custom recoveries. Um, you get, you know, a blanket of security called Mandroid where you can make an Android backups to basically, you know, restore your phone to any state you want. Um, I mean, you get to uh, flash custom ROMs, such as Cyanogen here, and custom boot screens. Um, you know, you get to do a bunch of different things, uh, more in-depth things, than you would if you, you know, didn't have root. Now, for those of you looking to root, and you're like, oh, why should I root? Well, there's a few main reasons why you would want to root. I'm not saying you you know you should root, but it is definitely a great advantage. One, you can get better battery life, and you know you can swap a kernel, overclock your phone, make it faster, um, make it last longer. Battery life is usually my main thing, but I did find stock battery life pretty good on my phone. But battery life is a main thing because you can you know undervolt a kernel or underclock a kernel, or underclock your CPU, excuse me. And uh, there's a lot of you know advantages power-wise. Another thing would be uh, custom themes and custom ROMs. Cause like Cyanogen here, you can you know flash a different ROM if you like it, different feel of your phone. Another really risky thing you can do with your Android device is flash a different baseband or radio. And uh, this this is you know where you get really technical, but you can also you know change the way your phone talks to the towers, and you really have full control over your phone um, instead of just you know being a user of the phone. There are a few risks when reading your device. I can't really say there are any many disadvantages to reading your device, but one of the risks is obviously breaking your phone and uh, making it, you know, unresponsive, unusable, because you flash something. I believe there's only two ways you can break your device. It's by flashing a new bootloader or flashing a new radio. But don't quote me on that. I believe those are the only two. That you know, you can permanently break your device. Uh, most of the other stuff you can recover, you can just boot into back a recovery, and do an Android. Um, so, and I know if your you know your recovery goes bad, you can boot into bootloader and um, unroot. There's one disadvantage though, I guess. If you're not technically inclined and you're not one to keep up with your phone, rooting probably isn't for you because you you have to be you know you have to have your ROMs up to date. You have to be checking ROM manager often. You know, looking for. Uh, newer ROMs, I guess, newer versions of your ROM, um, if you're reading different ROMs. You need to be, you know, somewhat technically inclined, or, you know, at least be able to, you know, know what you're doing, you know, putting ROMs on the SD card, flashing the ROM via the SD card. You need to know the steps. Um, I show most of these in my videos, but um, you, do, you do need to, you know, get a feel for it. Like, when I when I do stuff on my phone now, I know there's only a few things that I'm, I'm not, you know, sure of anymore. I mean, I've unrooted, I went through a giant hassle, I know all about the Android SDK, and, uh, you know, I've done, I've done a lot with my phone, so there's not, I'm not really worried when I do anything anymore. It's mostly just, you know, oh, I do this, you know, something goes wrong, flash with an Android backup that I just made. You know, it's, it's really, really simple once you get used to it. And, uh, so yeah, if you guys are looking to root and you want to, you know, expand the capabilities on your phone, you want to be able to, you know, flash custom ROM, like one of my favorites, Cyanogen, like I keep saying, um, then definitely rooting is for you. Go ahead and do it. One click root from unrevoked. I show you guys how in the video. Well, both with 2.2 because they released that, you know, a couple months ago. But yeah, if you guys are looking to root your brand new phone that you got for Christmas or whatever, go right ahead. Um, there's not really many risks. Just, you know, don't break your phone while it's rooted. It's the biggest lesson I learned. Spent, you know, 16 hours trying to figure out how to unroot it without the volume buttons. Really didn't know what I was doing, and that's how I learned a lot of this stuff. So uh, if you guys are looking to root, it's a good learning experience, go ahead and do it. If you do not want to keep up with technology and 
do all these flashy custom things, then, you know, rooting probably isn't for you. You know, keep your phone stock, and if something goes wrong, you know, take it in the store, they'll fix it right for you. So, that is my take on what rooting is, and if you should do it or not. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.